Hey there, Fletcher All Things Overlanding here, and today I wanted to give you guys an update on my Golden Mate 100 amp hour battery that I got. And remember, I was thinking in the last video, what do I want to do with it? Do I want to turn it into like a portable battery box, or do I want to hardwire it into my truck and use it as kind of a house battery with my setup in my Frontier? Well, what I ended up going with is actually the portable option. And I bought this box. So rather than building my own and buying a bunch of pieces and components and a battery box and building it myself, I found this one for about 90 bucks on Amazon. There are a couple options like this on Amazon and I will put links to them in the description down below. But again, I just wanted to show you kind of the results of my battery bank and what I went with. So if you wanna learn more about the AutoLink battery box power station, stay tuned. All right, guys, so just wanted to give you a little bit more detail on my AutoLink portable battery box. Um, this thing is actually really awesome. I was, I was literally looking at pieces to build my own power box. And the more that I looked at it, I started to see these things and there, like I mentioned in the intro, there are a couple of different manufacturers that make these things. And uh, so you, I'll put some links to all the ones that I found down in the description below so you can kind of have your pick. They all look really similar. So I think that they're mostly the same. But uh, again, I didn't have to build anything. I didn't have to buy a bunch of components and drill holes in a battery box or anything like that. So just to buy this thing as a one-off and then literally plug in a positive cable and a negative cable on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second makes the install of this super easy. You can pick your own battery, you can pick your own capacity for it. And even all said and done, the battery that I used plus this box, I'm under 300 bucks for a 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery that'll last for a really long time. And it's really nice and easy to use. So again, let's sort of walk you through the features here. I apologize, I am in the snow. I'm up in Michigan camping right now, but this thing is pretty waterproof too. I'm not really worried about leaving it out because it has these nice sealed covers on all the pieces here. But so one of the plugs on the top here is a 12 volt DC, just like you would have inside your vehicle. So you can plug in anything that will go to 12 volt DC. Then of course, we've also got a high capacity quick charge 3.0 USB-A and then a quick charge USB-C, which is really, really nice. So you've got a couple options there. Um, you've got an on off switch, right? So as you can see, I just turned it on. It's a little hard for the camera to catch, but I haven't even charged this battery. This is the way that I got it from Golden Mate and I'm showing 13.3 volts on my voltmeter, which is nice too, that it just gives you an idea of how much juice you've got left in the battery. Then you've got these two 50 amp Anderson plugs. And what I actually did, I'll show you here in my drawer. I took this old Best Tech, and I'll put a link to this in the description as well, but this Best Tech 500 watt pure sign power inverter. And I basically took the wires from that. And then I basically just bought a little 50 amp Anderson plug and I wired the 500 watt inverter to an Anderson plug. And then I just plug it into one of these. And then that gives me a couple of AC ports and a couple of USB-A ports. So it gives me some ways to charge my watch, my phone, that kind of thing when I'm up in the tent. I can charge chainsaw batteries, I can charge drone batteries. So it gives me a lot of options and it makes it so that it's portable. The other thing that I like about this is I made the cord a little bit long on it so that I could literally have this, this battery bank sitting down here on the tailgate, for example, and then run it up into my tent so that I could charge stuff up there. Or if I'm back here and I wanna charge, you know, say my chainsaw batteries, I can just grab this inverter and it's got these little hooks that I made on it and I can throw it on the side of my bed rack and just hang it right there and plug stuff into it. So it kind of gives me some flexibility on where I use the inverter and how I use the inverter. So that's kind of my solution for that to expand my, my number of USB ports through the inverter, through the use of the inverter. But so then the last kind of thing I want to point out, it does have this nice handle on it and it comes with this strap, which you kind of need because the top is just sort of sitting on there. It is now wired to the battery inside the box, but that strap connects the top and the bottom here. One thing that I really like is it has these external posts. So it actually has a positive and a negative out here. So you could hook it up through alligator clips or however you want to charge it. But so it's nice that you don't have to open the box to charge the battery. You can just charge it straight through these posts on the outside, which I really like. So let me open this up really quick and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Now, again, it is connected right now. So I'm just gonna kind of tilt it back. But as you can see, there's my golden mate, right? And then you've got these posts that are basically like screw in posts that come with the battery. And then as you can see from the box, there is a big red, which is your positive, and there's a big black, which is your negative, and you just wire them to the correct posts in here. 
And then that's it. They've got fuses and everything in here too. Everything's pre-wired. Everything is set up with quick releases. So again, it's really well made and saved me a ton of time and energy just trying to figure out my own way to do that. So I'm really happy with the box and I've been using it this whole trip. As you can see, we're actually up in Michigan in a snowstorm in a blizzard right now, uh, but it's been great this whole time. I used it all last night. I charged my phone, my watch, and I ran some of my other electronics off of it and the battery voltmeter hasn't even changed, hasn't even moved. So it's been great. All right guys, so that was the Autolink battery box power station. It turned out pretty nice. It was super, super easy to install, which I really, really liked. And uh, so if you're looking to build your own power station or something that you just need a couple of USBs, a USB-C and a USB-A and some 50 amp Anderson plugs, this thing is a great option. And again, easier almost than buying another power bank. So just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, of course, down in the description below will be a link to that thing and the battery that I've got as well. So if you want either one, it makes it super easy to find. Also in the description down below will be links to my other channels, my Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, podcast, all that stuff. So if you want to follow on any of those other channels, I'd love to have you over there as well. Then also there will be links to my website where I've got funny overlanding stickers and patches. So if you want to check those out, go ahead and click through that link down below. And then last but not least, there is a link to my Patreon group where we've got a 24 seven discord. It's awesome, bunch of awesome guys. Uh, and we just sort of chat 24 seven, have a once a month call and it's a ton of fun. And then there's also the newbie overlanders Facebook group, which is totally free to join, has a Ton of awesome members in it so if you're newer to overlanding you're looking for a place to ask some questions and learn that'd be a great place to start so again thanks for watching hope that was helpful click that like button if it was and we'll see you next time